is a large, diverse, and wondrous country, and despite a general argument about whether Canada has its own distinct culture or not, or whether we just borrow parts from everyone else, there are some distinct unwritten customs to be aware of. First, we say sorry a lot, and mostly in place of the phrase excuse me. So if two Canadians bump into each other, both will say sorry. Unless we're playing hot. But that's a different story. Second, we say a a lot. Even more than we're aware of. Our American neighbors think we say it at the end of every sentence, and in fairness, it is our punctuation. It replaces a period. For example, thanks for coming in today, eh? It also replaces a question mark. You understand what I'm saying, eh? A is the perfect Canadian word because it essentially fits almost anywhere. And while we get teased about it, it really does work for us, eh? Now just to be clear, we don't use it when we write. It's just something that slips out when we speak, eh? Canadians are a polite people, though not necessarily as friendly as advertised. For example, when we ask you how you are, what we're looking for is a fine, or well, or pretty good. It really is a greeting more than a question. It's not really an invitation to share your general well-being, so sorry about that, though not deeply sorry. Now, this is not the only time we struggle to say what we really mean. If a server at a restaurant asks how your meal is, our polite side comes out and we say, it's good even if the soup is cold and the beef overcooked. We seem to like to avoid conflict as much as possible, except when we're playing hockey, but that's a different story. So if our strange ways confuse you, we are sorry. So, so sorry. And once you get used to them, you'll be sorry too, eh? Oh, and if we don't sing out during our national anthem, it's not because we aren't patriotic. It's because most of us just don't know the words. But in fairness, our government keeps changing.